Yeah man, it's alright then guys, so ultimate learning back again. But um, yo, something different man, we've done loads and loads of chemistry experiments. But you know what, today, I feel like just letting off some rockets. <laughs> alright then guys, so we're going to do a little bit of a different lesson today because uh, I'm usually looking at chemistry experiments, but in this one, I want to be looking at some physics. I'm going to be looking at the physics of how forces can make objects move. So this lesson is all about Newton's third law of motion. So what we've got here, we've got our liquid nitrogen and I've got a Coke bottle. And all I've done is put some warm water in our Coke bottle. Now what's gonna happen is, I'm gonna put some liquid nitrogen inside this bottle and liquid nitrogen expands its volume by 700 times. So when I tip this bottle upside down, the liquid nitrogen will float to the top because it's less dense uh, than the water and as it expands it's going to push all that water out the bottle and that's what we call an action force but then the air will counteract that force by pushing on the bottle and that's what's going to make the bottle fly and that's Newton's third law if he says physics is boring <laughs> The trick is not to put too much liquid nitrogen in. So I'm going to put just a bit. There we go, look. Ultimate learning exclusive. We've got the cameraman on it as well. So let's just tip the rockets up. Let's see which way they go. Go. <laughs> I got a little bit scared and I just kind of went. Wee! <laughs> See that failure there, that's because there weren't enough liquid nitrogen, so the pressure couldn't build up. But let's try again. Oh. Yeah, I might need <laughs> Alright then guys, so look, we've changed the shape of the bottle. We've got a 1.5 litre bottle this time. See how this changes. Alright guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video so far, but we're going to finish with the big boy rocket right now. Here we've got a 15 litre water jug um, and I just want you to take a notice of the nozzle. Look how the nozzle is a lot more narrower than before. That should create a lot more pressure in this bottle and make it fly a lot further. But let's see what will happen. Round two, round two. All right, take two. 
Alright then guys, I hope you've enjoyed that video because I definitely did. That last rocket was crazy. So look, listen, tap like, tap subscribe, share this out to all your friends because you've never seen this bit done before. It's crazy. But just to recap really what we've learned today, alright? Um, we've learned that liquid nitrogen expands about 700 times. And when you put that in a container, it creates massive amounts of pressure. And that pressure is forced out of the nozzle. And we call that force a reaction force. But then the air will be counteracting equal and opposite um, on the bottle. And that's what makes the rocket shoot off. And that's exactly how rockets work uh, when they fly to space. But except for they're not powered by water, they would have like some sort of uh, chemical reaction taking place in the engine. All right, guys, peace. Yeah, I love science. <laughs> I love it. <laughs>